Happy New Year, everybody. This is the Board Certified Gaming Podcast. The video game podcast that doesn't care if it's New Year, New You. Okay, you say it every year. <laughs> you don't change at all. Nobody does. We all say it. We all act like we're going to go to the gym a bunch of times, and we all have the same problem. It's full of people. So you're like, you know what? I'm going to wait till February when it dies down. And then you check. Everybody that didn't go in January went in February. So then guess what? I'll just go March. And then by the time it's like, you know what? I got other stuff I'm doing. So new year, new you, bunch of crap. I'm okay. all for new year, new memes. There you go. New a, memes. Decade of, a decade of memes is gone. Yes. And I'm looking forward to the memes of the 20s. There we go. We're in the roaring 20s. So it is, as of this recording, a few days before the end of the year and the end of the decade and this and is the part- 100th anniversary of the end of World War One. There you go. This is a video game podcast, so I guess none of that matters. Well, name- Battlefield 1 was World War One. Very true. I still have Battlefield 1 flashbacks. My name is Andy. Amar is across from me, as always. And historically inaccurate, World War One ended in 1918. There you go. I should have said this last year. Historically inaccurate Amar. 101 years. There you go. So we're going to talk about video games. This is part four of our Decade of Gaming in Review series. This is the final part. So we're going to say we're out of years. You were out of time to do this. We're not 2018, gonna, 2019. And there you go. We're not going to post another one in this year. All of our next episodes are going to be in the next year See and the next, next decade. Yeah. So get ready for that. Yeah. So we're going to cover... The years 2018, 2019, and 2020. 2019, we did a bunch of episodes on that stuff anyway, so it's going to be kind of quick. And 2020 is just going to be our hopefully optimistic thoughts into the future. but Or very accurate predictions. Yeah, I mean, play this back and clock us on some stuff, see if we got it right. Who knew that Animal Crossing would be rated M when it came out? (laughs) They had a murder. Tom Weird. Nook just walks around and breaks kneecaps. You know, pay him bells. He owns a brothel now. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Isabel's running it. She's just like, Rrr. yeah. Ugh. So it's scary to think about, but it's probably been done somewhere. This is episode f- part four. This episode is episode 19. Okay. In, 20, in 2019. 19. See how I did that? That Damn. was totally accidental. So episode 20 is going to be in, in 2020. 2020. Okay. Wow. Before you give us credit, this is all <laughs> accidental. We had no, no idea no, no, that no, was no, going to no. happen. No, we definitely had to have planned this. Come on. Plan no. the whole thing. But if I mean, you, it worked out. We missed a couple weeks. So, and we somehow know. made it work. You know, we're now our we should last just wait an entire year to do episode 21. There so you it's go. 2021. Yeah, we one episode per year. All right, yeah. it's the podcast that everybody's waiting for every single year. For You're not going to 45 minutes to an hour of just that's it. Let's just talk about the last so 365 what happened to the last days. Decade, yeah. So, this is part four. Listen to parts one through three to get the years 2010 through 2017. You know, those are some good years. We had a good time recording it. So, go check them out. If you just started with episode four, what's wrong with you? What do you do? Maybe they want to go backwards. I guess. Maybe you read right to left, like some languages. I don't know. Is that you? Maybe you listen to podcasts right to left too. I don't know. Just constantly listening to this podcast backwards. I hope you like episode one when you get there. (laughs) So listen. Oh, yeah. 2010. I can't wait. Yeah. Listen to parts one through three. This is part four. See how counting works? One, two, three, four. You eventually get to hear. That's how that. I know. I See, you're learning. Huh. First things first, before we get into the years 2018, 2019, and 2020, you guys should check out our Twitter account. It's pretty great. Is it? It is. At right. BCG Podcast. Okay, go follow twitter.com slash BCG Podcast. We tweet some funny stuff. We also have updates. We reply to things. We like stuff. Very vague here, but they're great tweets. I put a lot of time into it. Some of them I think are funny. Some you won't find funny. Hashtag comeback Karen. Hashtag comeback Karen. If you listen to the last episode, she's still not back yet. <laughs> but we're working on it. 2020 is a new trying, year. Okay. I'm trying to better myself and hopefully she'll come back. I miss you, Karen. So check out the Twitter at BCG Podcast. We also have an Instagram. So a podcast is very hard to put on Instagram because it's all pictures. So, but we have an Instagram where we take pictures of stuff and our thumbnails are on there, which I put a lot of time into. 
I think and they cool. look great. They do look great. I, I put them so. on my fridge. He has a very covered fridge. Yes. This is episode 19. He's mm-hmm. got all of them on there. You should see it. And then I'm getting a new fridge in 2020 with just one. Yeah, there you go. You got to start over. It's going to be beautiful. That is at Board Certified Gaming Podcast. It's a very long title. We say it every week. That's yet awful. we're doing nothing about it. Okay, not a damn thing. It's going to stay the same. Don't you judge us, okay? Don't you judge. Your Instagram name is probably dumb too, okay? <laughs> probably. Probably. You're probably one of those people that can't wait for April 2020. So you would be like, it's 420 all month, man. Yeah. Like, I'm, you're not going to bake for, for 30 fucking days straight. I'm ready to blaze it, okay? It's Hitler's birthday oh, for goodness. a month. All right, start over. <laughs> I'm kidding. Pause. Uh, <laughs> speaking of Hitler... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Wolfenstein 2. <laughs> it's Wolfenstein 2. We'll get there. Save that one. Yeah. Which that's a great game. We'll get to it. So follow the Twitter at BCG Podcast, Instagram at Board Certified Gaming Podcast. And we also have a Patreon. If you want an extra episode per month, contribute to our Patreon. A Give whole, us money. A whole extra hour of us talking about nonsense and making very off color jokes in front of microphones for you. Who doesn't want How that? off color are we talking? I mean, not too off color. Are we talking like tertiary? Like off white. Damn. Like taupe. Ooh. It's what like about a, mauve? Mauve? Nah, taupe. Taupe is like a cream. Turquoise? No. That's off blue. <laughs> I'm not ready for that. But it's off color. I guess. What about on color jokes? Yeah, we are always on color. <laughs> always. You never hear about the on color jokes. Right. Because those are just jokes. <laughs> Yeah, those are just regular people's it's jokes. It's like Chinese food in China. They just call it food. We call it Chinese food. Very on color yeah. of you. Thank you. Beautiful. That Thank was you. that was a that, that was, was a an, dark blue. I'm gonna start saying that was a very on color joke of you. Wow. Yeah. What an on color joke to say. So we're gonna get into it now. Let's do it. Oh, by the way, patreon.com slash BCG podcast. Forgot to mention that. Oh, Go yeah. check it. It's linked everywhere. Go find it. All right. So 2018 was we are going to start this by begrudgingly mentioning Fortnite. Yeah, because we ended it the last one. It technically came out in 2017, but it, the Battle Royale version. Like, really popped. But no one gave a shit. Like, because PUBG did. existed, and then people were like, all right, Fortnite's that weird game where I fight off zombies using wood. Yeah, so like build a horde a mode looking thing. Yeah, and I was like, save the world I mode. Don't give a crap. Right. And then people were like, oh, they have a Battle Royale mode, I guess. Like, neat sweet nobody played it because it came out in september of 2017 so we're technically going to squeeze it into 2018 because that's when it started to become people played it but it was like the word of mouth took a few months it wasn't the giant mega game that it is now yeah i mean like they had news stations fucking talking about it so we here at the board certified gaming podcast we don't love fortnite we think it's kind of overplayed at this point we're like, we get it. A lot of people like it. I don't need to hear about it or think, okay, this is the greatest game ever. It's the only thing on Twitch at all times. Like, My I get it. My cousin is into it now. I'm sick of seeing little kids doing their floss dances. Floss doing is their dance. There's a new microtransaction. There's that all the dances in Fortnite. I'm sick of seeing little kids do them. Don't Amar's doing it right now, and I he's now going to have this he, dance. He's now going to host hammer. this podcast by himself. Do that again, and I'm out of here. <laughs> He's oh, okay. Here comes the floss. They're dumb dancers, oh, and no. it actually hurt because there are legal cases because people. Hey, look! Are I paid five dollars for the shirt I'm wearing. There you go. Hell yeah! Well, I buy regular clothes, but people buy clothes in game, and they're making a shitload of money because stupid people. Yes, all Fortnite players are stupid. It's a scientific fact. It's not, but wow, it's way not. to just way to just attack 125 plus million people. I know. Well, if they all want to talk to me, they can listen to this podcast. <laughs> They're going to build a wall around you. Go ahead, yeah, and I'll we'll, a wall of wood. I don't care. That's the one. Okay, the one thing I hate about Fortnite is the building. Is whenever I shoot someone in like Call of Duty or even Apex Legends, they don't turn into a three fucking story building. <laughs> They just start making stairs. I'm like, okay. what do you do? You can't make st- the foundation is not here for you yeah, to make you stairs have stair- on a hill yeah, like this. Out of nowhere. Just I put stairs here. That's not how stairs work. But then if you shoot the very first one, then all the other ones go. I, I, they don't. Physics doesn't make sense. It's a cool art style, but I'm sick of it. At this yeah. Point. If they released the mode where it's like building wasn't a concern, I would probably be very into Fortnite. They did. It's called Apex Legends. 
or any yeah. or PUBG or any other battle royale out there. But it gives people, oh, we're gonna, I'm gonna immediately defend myself and have an out, so you can last a little bit longer. Like, by oh, just my, building oh no, this guy's shooting at me. Well, now I'm a nice three bedroom ranch. Well, yeah, now you just build a brick shit house around you, and then you're fine. And then you can, you know, hide behind that for ten minutes, and then he, you know, runs out of ammo. It's just I. It's a popular game. The people at Epic Games, who no longer make Gears of War, if you listen to our previous episode, they sold it to Microsoft, I think. Yeah, Microsoft and uh, the Coalition. Yeah, now they runs bought it in 2017. And now they make only Fortnite, that, which they are a huge studio now because they make a ton of money. For a free-to-play game, that's insane. But it's, we've seen it in mobile games on phones. Like people were playing Bejeweled and Farm, well, and that's whatever, the funny thing and is, all so these for, other things. For 2018, Fortnite brought in 2.4 billion dollars in revenue. Billion. The second highest was two billion, and it was a mobile game. Yeah, like it, by ten cent. The free to play with money for other stuff has been, existed for a while. Mobile games on phones did that all the time, but you don't see that in video games. Usually, if you hand someone a free, popular, we can say. What triple A title, Fortnite? Yeah, yeah. At this you, point, we can consider it a triple A title. You were handed a free triple A title, yeah. and just like, yeah, you can play it. But here's all this other cool stuff that if hey, if you want to give a couple bucks, you'll get this stuff, and then you will be the envy of your friends. Well, now they make tons of money, and they don't care about you. Yeah, you are insignificant to them. You are just a dollar sign. But I mean, this isn't a yeah. sh- this isn't a shit on Fortnite episode. We just thought we'd start with Andy them. Really doesn't fucking like I Fortnite. Do not like Fortnite. But we will bring. We up- like Fortnite. We like. You ever see that f- uh, video? No. It was something like uh, it was like a bunch of elementary school kids. Oh god. They like no, some I local news channel. Like you know, went to a school. Do and they're not like, want to hear. Hey, anything. what do you guys like? And all the kids are like, we like Fortnite. We oh, like okay. Fortnite. They're probably doing their dumb dances and stuff too. Yep. God damn it, I hate I'm that. I'm going to find that video for you. Please now. do not. I, we're not playing it on the podcast. Show it to me later. So You're still going to see it. So now we're going to get into 2018 news. Fortnite came out, but it rose the popularity in 2018. That's all you need to know. That's all we're going to talk about. So, all right. 2018, and this is for uh, the old people that knew what this was. Mad Cats was reestablished in January of 2018. They made some good ass controllers. Did they? Though? They were not good controllers. They were fun controllers. Yeah, I think you meant to say they made some ass controllers, <laughs> made, not good ass. They made terrible controllers, but boy, they were fun to I'm look like, at. I'm like, wow, I really love my PlayStation 2 controller that's for some reason shaped like a fucking box. I know. And it it's always the controller that you give your like friend or your little brother. And you're like, I want to play too. Okay, you take the Mad Cats controller. I take the oh. actual one that came with the console. See, my mom loved me. And was a good mother, you so know, she never bought never me a Mad Cats controller. <laughs> That's how you she bought me the official peripherals. My kid's a little shit, so I'm buy a Mad Cats Yeah, controller. the Mad Cats controller is what you purchase when you really want to tell somebody to go fuck themselves. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, what I, that is. Like if you're if I you have ever zero get, respect for you, here's a Mad Cats controller. I'm fully planning on if God forbid I ever have to like get a divorce. That's how I'm doing it. It's going to be a PlayStation Two Mad Cats controller yeah, yeah. with a sign Perfect. that just says, "I'm leaving you." We just we just we can't keep playing this. <laughs> Can't keep playing this game. Can't keep playing this game. No carnival, no games. Which uh, props to Mad Cats for coming back. You could have died a long time ago and stayed dead. Maybe you'll make better controllers now. Maybe you're improving. Who knows? I hope so. Try hard. Try harder. In January, also, the Overwatch League started, which is massive. Huge. Massive. Huge. It is huge. Like, it's Overwatch is fun. But picturing an entire league based off of it, and like, dude, that's so on, many fans. So that's many, on like, like local. I think it's like WISN twelve around here. ESPN. Sometimes, yeah. But I remember um, it was either like the preliminaries or something like that. Like I was at my mom's, and she'll just like leave the TV on for the dog. Yeah, I came in. And it was just Channel Twelve. They were just like, it's crazy. The big ass like fucking Overwatch arena. I'm like, yeah, damn. It's crazy. It's nuts. Like these. Uh, I mean, the only big... esports I really watch besides like FIFA is call of duty yeah you i've own gears but a couple of the lawyers i follow on twitter are like agents mm-hmm. for these uh overwatch players which some of them are dumb and they don't read contracts they're kids but they're 17 a lot of them are also from the overseas like in asia and they don't know english true but if you're 18 you can't 
if you are under 18, you can't sign a contract without a parent present. Correct. So if you are over 18, you should know. You should. You're, if you're 19 you years old, the, no, you no, should no. know to read whatever you're signing. But these people are all like, oh, you're going to pay me $10,000 or $100,000 to play video games. Yep. Sign on the line. Done. But the contract says, okay, we're going to pay you $100,000. We also get to punch you every hour. But it's over 10 years. Yeah. So you get $10,000 a year for yep. playing games. And you can't do sponsors unless we say so. And you can't do all this other crap unless we say so. And you yeah. have to you have to work out. You have to go to the gym every Which, day and work out. What does working out entail for you need to stay in player? Shape. Like you need to actually like go to a gym and work out. Because they can't have a bunch of overweight like people who aren't gonna have the best hand eye coordination or I don't think weight has or, to do with it's not weight. It's like you need to stay in shape so you're not like you're you know, if I thought they just scrim for eight hours a day. No, well, they do, but they have to work out like semi regularly like, for the other six hours of the day that they're awake. Well, I'm just saying they have to semi regularly work out because even us, we get tired getting up from a chair of playing games. And these people are going to have so many injuries and like carpal tunnel and a bunch of stuff. I suppose. You got to strengthen everything of you. I don't know. I just remember one Otherwise, time I was you'd watching. see a bunch of overweight esports players. I just remember one time I was watching because uh, I really love uh, Nade Shot. And I was He's watching. Good. Come on the pod. I was watching. Please, I was watching one of his videos where um, Hunter Thieves was uh, starting like a. They're like relocating their headquarters or like building a new one, something like that. Um, but then he like stopped to visit uh, Optic Gaming, and they had like a bunch of fucking people in a room just screaming. Is like, yeah, like there's a tournament this weekend, so for the next three days, we're just playing Call of Duty for eight hours, which twenty four hours of just straight Call of Duty over the span of three days. We've done not close to that. We've yeah, we've done our fair share of we you didn't know get paid for it. We did not get paid. For we it. Just, we didn't get a single benefit from it. Twenty four hours. We of just fun. did it for fun. Yeah. yeah, which it's crazy to see that these people are making millions of dollars playing the games we play a bunch anyway. I mean, dude, back in the it's day, crazy. like early, like Halo two days, like Tom Taylor, he was like big. So it was like Tom yeah. Taylor, Element Warrior, the whole like straight ripping gang. They were like winning, you know, a couple hundred yeah. thousand, but now it's like now it's millions. You win like two million, yeah, easy. We'll get to something later where like sixteen-year-olds are winning millions of dollars playing Fortnite. That's, uh, in, that's in 2019. That 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 was a thirteen-year-old. He's sixteen. No, dog, he was he thirteen. Was 16. You sure? It's guaranteed. What 16. was his name? Uga. Dog, he's thirteen. No, he's not. He's 16. how do you spell it? B U B U G H A. I think. He's definitely sixteen. No, Dude, we did an episode about it. He's 16. Might be 17 now. I don't know. Yeah, he is 16. Boom. Lawyered. Still, though, it's like, get a fucking car. <laughs> well, now, now he's going to have a super nice ass have, car. Yeah, he can have seven cars. He's going to be like, oh, sweet. I just passed my driver's license yeah. test and uh, I got a fucking Lamborghini. Dude's like, not even finishing high school and he has a million dollars. I don't think he is planning on finishing high school if you're making well, that. Well, yeah, he, I doubt he even went to. He probably dropped out. Just play. Oh, you don't need an education. Play Fortnite. That's how That's lowbrow true. Fortnite is. No, <laughs> like you need an education. Hopefully, for his <laughs> case though, he's at least keeping up with his studies to be like, hey, I hope so. When I'm 25 and 26, and I can't play at this yeah, professional level, or we know from experience, your hand-eye coordination and your skills deteriorate over time. I mean, he can still be like a top player. He can throw at 25, down 26. Yeah. Probably He'll be on Twitch by then. Making I think fun uh, anyway. There's a COD team that has some dude that's like in his mid 30s. There's an uh, I think a Swedish team of like 65 year olds that play counter-strike yeah i've heard about yeah. those guys and they're like semi-decent like they're in tournaments but enough about esports we're still going through the news of 2018 one of our favorite people cliff blazinski cliffy b his he tried he tried his ass off to make a new gaming company called boss key they made a couple of fun games that looked interesting but just didn't have the same appeal as gears yeah like lawbreakers was fun and it was it looked fun, the beta. Yeah. it was a really cool concept but it just it struggled to get the player base that it really needed to take off which yeah. i don't blame the company i blame everybody it's us fucking playing fortnite which i mean fortnite probably killed a couple games yeah and then they also try to make their own battle royale with radical heights that i think which was at the at had the some time cool, had some cool ideas but yeah. yeah it was kind of one of those if you try Fortnite yeah. was already dominating the market so hard it yeah. was it, it almost I, I hate to say it this way but it was like a last like like a helmet. grasping of straws helmet. yeah yeah you know it's it, like everybody's playing battle royales and we can make one yeah to they, try to get on this fad they should have waited like apex did it right they should have done they should have zagged everybody was zigging with their 
battle royales, they should have zagged and made a game that wasn't like it. Right. Yes, they might have died because nobody cares about anything other than battle royales, but they might have been like, hey, this is different than a battle royale and might have gotten the other people who think, oh, battle royales are dumb. Right. So, I mean, it's it's a product of the times. They were tried to be, you know, part of whatever was going on and they failed. Not, not I don't want to say failed, but they didn't do what they sh- wanted to do. And then in May of 2018, Boss Key closed down. Cliffy B, come on the pod. You're an awesome dude. You know, we'd love to talk to you about Call of or Gears, like your that memoir. future, your memoir. You are a producer on Broadway, which is dope. Yeah. Like one of Morgan's favorite shows of the last like couple of years was uh, produced by him. Really? Yeah. What show was that? Uh, I forgot the name. Wow. I forgot she the name. She knows it's her favorite. Morgan knows. I forgot the name. But hang on. I'm going to actually look that up because that's going to bug the hell out of me. Oh God. Uh Hades Town. Hades Town. That's what it is. Hades Town. Hades Town. Hades Town. Yeah. Hades like the mythical uh demon or god. Hades. They always refer to him. It's got a lot of Tony. When it's a non gaming site, like Variety always refers to him as Gears of War creator. Which which is not he is. wrong, but like he's done other he's things done other he worked stuff. on unreal yeah, they should just say like gaming mogul or like gaming just guy dude just dude the man the dude you know i mean and his wife's a baby i remember when he like first like stepped out into the scene like the he's a the, yeah he's a sharp he looking dude so, yeah and he was so energetic yeah. and just so like not what you would picture like a gaming developer to be like yeah. you picture them to be like oh, i'm very hyper focused on what i do and he's like i like to fucking party yeah he still likes to party. So yeah. seriously, Cliffy B. If anybody out there knows Cliffy B, I don't think he goes by that nickname anymore. Cliff Blazinski. Mr. Mr. Blazinski. Mr. Blazinski. If you want to come on the pod or if anybody knows him, t- show him our podcast. We would love to talk to him. So moving on. There was in 2018. This is kind of big, but we also don't know what entirely happened. In September... Telltale Games had a major a majority studio closure. So they yes. had like a bunch of layoffs, but they didn't technically close. They, yeah, they kept a skeleton crew of 25 employees to finish off the fourth and final season of The Walking Dead. Yeah. And then they ended Did up... Did they close? They ended up closing and then Skybound Entertainment took over the rights to finish it. Okay. But then The Wolf Among Us is coming out. Yes. So I don't know if somebody just bought the licenses because you can do that. You can buy the rights to it and then make They're it They're trying yourself. to like basically revive them. Okay. They're trying to basically like bring Telltale games back. Um, and it came out of nowhere too. Because there is a successor LCG Entertainment doing business as Telltale games. Okay. Because this kind of news kind of came out of nowhere that it's like, and we of consumers of Telltale games, we were like, wait, what? Right. Like, that's shocking. We we played a bunch of their, like, you played Borderlands, Walking Dead, Game of yeah, Thrones. Yeah, they were, like, all story-heavy, like, great games. Yeah, like, they had know? to get but premier the, licenses the problem, to get these IPs. Well, and that was the problem was that they spent a lot of money acquiring all these licenses, and the writing was okay, but it wasn't. When that first season of The Walking Dead came out, you know, when you play through it, the the writing, the story, like, you cared about all the characters yeah. you wanted to make an impact you know like um what was her name i think carla in the first one she was like the kooked out like crazy chick that got pissed and was trying to like lead and like her asshole father like you got pissed with these characters yeah you know you felt for them yeah and it, you were so sucked into the story and then they started just kind of churning all of these other ones out that the writing wasn't great yeah. and the gameplay was still the same it didn't reinvent so anything. they started at the top and then yeah. just went down from because there. every single telltale game you play it the exact same way which yeah. when they first came out was amazing it was like no other games were so like cool. that yeah but like dude, fucking game of thrones man yeah it was like <sighs> it's it was not great that fucking chicken king's landing <laughs> yeah i remember you hating her so boring yeah. so that news kind of came out of nowhere we were shocked but yeah, I was bummed. But when you look into it it's more, Chivos, it, baby, it kind of makes sense that they were trying yeah, so hard to make sink. something that only, if your only connection to these people that you want them to play your games is that hey, you have we have some of your character like favorite characters in it, but not really, right? Like Game of Thrones only had like one or two 
of people from actual Game of Thrones. Jon Snow, and that was it, from what I recall. They also had like Ramsey and other people, but uh, for oh, Guardians yeah, of the, the Lannisters, also Guardians of the Galaxy, they had all those people. But Borderlands had new characters that you had no idea who they were. And they're like, here's another story Which that's happening they, on happening while Borderlands thankf- is happening. Thankfully, though, did they put him in? Reese is okay. So Reese so is they acknowledge in the their third. existence. Yeah, in it's the technically other. canon now. Okay, Which because I think is, yeah. I think Gearbox had a say in that well, yeah, writing. They because did. nobody can write like they do. Yeah, well, it's their it's their stuff. So I'm assuming right. they just like here we're going to write your stuff, and here's what you can use. But just try to make it a good game. We'll include it in our others. But yeah, so, so it, I mean, it's, with, there's with only a certain thing you can do. So yeah, stuff. with with Telltale, you know, they it was a money sink, and then their I think it was like their last investor just pulled out of funding. They were just like, "Fuck this! Like we're not doing yeah. this anymore." So that causes a closure. Another until somebody company buys you. Another company did purchase the rights and like the IP branding to a majority of Telltale stuff, and they're basically trying to redo Telltale. But yeah, like they're trying the to bring it bring it back, which hopefully it works. Yeah, you enjoy the games. I need as long tales as from the Borderlands too. Yeah. yeah, if they're interesting, like I said, I mean, of course, I'm a fan of like how easy the achievements are for them. But like, dude, Game of Thrones. Yeah, it was brutal. I don't want to play that through that again. Good. I don't care how easy the achievements are. I don't want to go through Game of Thrones again because that was just fucking awful. Yeah. Speaking of buying the or companies buying other companies, are we the last Microsoft? The last one in 2018. Last bit of news. Microsoft bought Obsidian. And like 30 other companies. Yes. Microsoft buys a lot of companies. But they Xbox can. Game Studios now yeah. with Game Pass. Great. Awesome. Nothing but games. I mean, nothing but bangers, man. So they Shut up and take my money, Xbox. They bought Obsidian, which is a favorite company of ours. They make... They made Fallout New Vegas. Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds. Great some game. of our favorite games ever. Like, they're great. Go play them. So Microsoft, good purchase, I think. Instead of Obsidian going under or something. They also or, made uh, Knights of the Old Republic 2. Yeah, KOTOR, yeah. Instead of trying to... South Park. Instead of them trying to just fend for themselves and eventually probably fade out or die because they don't have enough funding, I'm glad Microsoft bought them and they're still making cool shit. So go Obsidian. So now we're going to get into some games because 2018 was a pretty good year Yeah, for video games. I mean, I... Fortnite was at this time commanding, like towards the not end, but like the middle of 2018 was the command. Literally couldn't go into any store without seeing Fortnite. It was branding. a commanding game. So it's kind of like they're not that these were hidden gems, but it's like these games were all overshadowed by the giant fad that has now become a thing because now it's not a fad anymore. It's a st- structured thing that everybody knows about and plays. But there were some pretty good games. In January, you got Monster Hunter World, which was pretty big. Yeah. That was, that was pretty a, sought that was after huge, by people. Because it was a, quite a while. Most of the Monster Hunter games were primarily on the DS and like yeah. handheld. So that was like, I want to say the first console release since one of the Monster Hunters on the PS2 days or PS3 possibly. Yeah. So that I mean, was pretty huge. I just remember it being big and people really uh enjoyed it yeah and i think it's still on the game pass as well as i think option. so yes which i i should give it a shot i haven't but i it just looks in, too intimidating for me i don't know and this one which i thought was interesting which i do want to give it a shot kingdom come deliverance have you heard of that i have seen that. it's like an old knight uh sword and shield something game. like that yeah it just seems pretty cool i haven't obviously if i want to play an old Sword and Shield game. I'm gonna go for the classics like Skyrim, Oblivion, Sword, uh, Shadow of Mordor. Right. What's another one? Dragon Age. Yeah, those old Sword and Shield games are my jam. So I don't want to go with something I don't know. But maybe I should give it a shot. A lot of games that were out already came to the Switch because the Switch had been around for a little bit. About their, a year at this point. Their titles are like, okay, here the Switch is around. People are buying it because it was the only one good game at launch, but then a bunch more came out at the end of 2017. And then now you're getting games like Bayonetta, Bayonetta 2, Dragon Quest Builders, Steam World Dick, which I 
Love don't, SteamWorld don't Dig. Don't talk to me about SteamWorld Dig. We don't I'm, talk crap I'm about SteamWorld Dig. I'm still mad about that. I love it. Why again? Because it's I can't get the platinum for it. Why? Because it's because you suck. Because I suck. Yes. Maybe you should get good. And maybe I should. Outlast Payday Two came to Nintendo Switch. Like it's it's a great system. A lot of ports, yeah. A lot of ports, but they're games they that needed it, to be done. They're games that it's like it, Diablo Three is on the Switch. It's games like yes, I want to play that mobile. It's fun wherever you play it, but I want to play that mobile. Bayonetta, I'd love to play that mobile. You know, all these other games, Payday 2, I'd be like, yes, give me that on the road. Outlast, no thank you. I'm not into that. That's I'm not into spooky games. <laughs> Eventually, I'll play spooky games, but this one was fun. Burnout Paradise Remastered. Oh, yeah. Very good out. game in March of 2018. Very good. I enjoyed it. I got it late too. And I don't. I think it's now on the EA access. Yeah. I've been meaning to check that one out because the last time I played that was the 360 days back in 08. Burnout is so fun. Yeah, it's a good like, game. And I always, not as, not got them mixed up, but I always thought of Burnout and Need for Speed as the same thing. Yeah, but they're not. They are totally different. And I am more inclined to go with Burnout. I can Burn, see how I, you would think that they're the same cars but, yeah. and like other stuff happens. Racing. Well, because it's not just racing. It's like other stuff happens right. other than racing because Burnout is racing, but it's also crashing into stuff. It's also right. breaking other stuff where I thought Need for Speed had that too, where it wasn't just Grand or Forza. Like racing games are all kind of the same. And I always thought Burnout was the best just because you can literally the goal is to crash into shit. And I loved Burnout Paradise Remastered. So fun. You played these and I have no idea about them. So you might mention them valkyria uh, chronicles i have actually not played those you haven't i thought you talked about them i talked about wanting to play it i just never got around okay, to it then never mind rip sea of thieves came out in march yeah and that was one of the first uh game pass, game pass titles yeah. where they started doing the whole hey you get it first party titles get, get a day of yeah which we love game pass here so good i still haven't tried sea of thieves it's either. a game that I don't get why people like. I get it's a pirate. Because you get to be a pirate. I get it's a pirate simulator. You get to go on a swashbuckling adventure. What's there not to get? <laughs> I guess. I've just never been Yo in a... Yo-ho-ho and a bottle of rum. I just, I've never been you in You get a, scurvy. I've never been in a pirate mood where it's like, man, I wish I was a pirate. Really? Not really. I literally, every single day of my life, I want to get on a fucking boat. Be a pirate? And just... Arr. Arr, matey. I've just never been in that much. I want to itch in places I shouldn't itch. I mean, I watched it and I was like, okay, so you get to go on a ship. And you drink a lot of rum. Like go to islands and find a treasure and then get back on the ship and find another island. I'm like, yep. neat. But I was like, I you don't You can also see fight the... other pirates. I'm sure it's very updated now, but I was not that interested and I'm still not interested. I might try it just because it's like, hey, what is a pirate? What are their problems? What do they have to deal with? I can do a Jack Sparrow accent the whole time. Oh, not right now. I'm please, bad at it. Please don't play I'm this game. I'm not going to. Don't play this game. This one is interesting, which I still have to play. I have it queued up and I need to play it. I just need a person to play it with. What? A way out. Oh, yeah. This, it, yeah. the concept of it was something I've, I don't think I've ever seen before. If you don't know what a way out is, it's a prison break game that you play with another person while one person is, it's like a co-op game and you both are playing two different people with two different like views on things. So you need to work together to break out of prison with you and a friend. Yeah. That's and also on EA access. To it's it, just believe. so cool. Yeah. And I, I think we were, we meant to play it and we just we never did. did. Cause yeah. the game was only supposed to take a, what, six, seven hours. Something like, something that, like that. But it's the whole point is you're playing it with someone. You need to be yeah, synced up. You can't up. play it single player. Yeah, it's very tough to play by yourself. But just when I saw that come out, I was like, holy shit, that's really cool that they came up with that. And it makes sense why it was kind of popular just because it's, it's something every game studio tries to, well, not every game studio, but a lot of game studios try to make things that no one's ever seen before. Because then they either, like Battle Royales, people started the Battle Royale. Or they start the, F, not first person shooter, but that's a little bit vague. But they start like the, this is our mechanic that we use in this game. It's a co-op prison break game where you each have two different views on the same thing. And not, it's not like, you know, it's split screen, but it, you can play it with someone online. But they're in there across from you. It's just awesome. 
and I need to actually give it a shot, but I need Amar or a friend to help me out. So just me. Just you. Yes. Rip. Far Cry 5. Talk about Far Cry 5. Oh, yeah, that did come out in 2018. That came out Far in March, Cry 5 of, was, March of 2018. And I played it uh, October of 2019. Yeah. <laughs> or no, November. I bought it on uh, Black Friday. There you go. Far Cry 5 is sweet. It's yeah. the first and only Far Cry I've ever played. It's the culty one, right? Yes. It's like a cult in Montana very or something. Very creepy. Yeah. Certain parts of it are very creepy, especially when you get to Faith's region, because she's the one that's like all about the bliss. So in the middle, as you're building up your resistance points, she would just randomly like overtake your screen. And then like just this fucking culty white chick comes to your screen and goes, come on. That's weird. Welcome to the place. That would terrify me. Yeah. I am, it was, not, I am not about that. I sped through her Absolutely section not. as quickly as I possibly could. Because all three of them were kind of creepy, but they weren't like. Hers would just fucked me up on a whole. Other, I had a nightmare about her. <laughs> yeah. I was so creeped out. Somebody said the word bliss to me and I started panicking. I had PTSD. I was like, God, I want to go back. It's pretty scary, man. I mean, I, but it's not meant to be. It's just meant to be like, it's just trippy, creepy. Probably. Yeah, it yeah. just creeped me it's out. It's creepy more than anything, which I'm not down for creepy either. Don't give me a creepy game. This I could talk about. God of War. Yeah. God of War. Game of the year. God of War for PS4. And it, well justified. Okay. It deserved every it slap. Si- it, it's a banger, dude. It's Damn. fire. It deserved deserved every kind of praise and award it got. It looks gorgeous, and it's basically a dad simulator. Boy, half the time it boy, he's yelling boy. at his kid, like, "Hey, go shoot that fucking thing!" Because I boy, because I why? Because I told you to. Okay, because I'm your dad. Right, All right. I'm gonna go kick this weird looking dude's ass. Why don't please you stop don't, being useless? Please son. don't fuck this up, or I will tell your mother. Who spoiler is dead. So he's single dad simulator. He is single the, dad he is simulator. a hero. He was a single dad t- teaching his kid the ways of the world and making him survive and teaching him to shoot and be a man. Father of the year, Kratos. Kratos. He's buff as hell and he's old as hell, but he'll still kick your ass. All right. Don't you disrespect me. Or disrespect my kid. Don't gonna, talk to me or my son like this ever again. Because I will come after you. It's a great game. And it's cheap. It's 10 bucks. Go buy it. It's, a, it's one of those red PlayStation classic things for a reason. It's fantastic. Go play it. Make more of them, please. Sony Santa Monica, make more of them. Make God of War 2. You've already done that. But make God of War 2, 2. Like the next... Because they can't call it God of War. Dad of they War. Came, yeah, I'll Dad of War. Absolutely two. play Dad of War. Down to great or War of God of Dads. That works. God of Dads. That works too. I command all the fathers. This and I'm probably gonna pronounce it wrong. Yes. Nintendo Labo. Yeah, Labo. Okay. What did you call it before? Labo. I said Labo. Labo. Because it looks Labo. Like Labo, Lobo but with an A. Nintendo Labo. Labo, which I still have zero interest like in a using. Lab. Oh. Oratory. There you go. Dexter's Labo. Dexter's, yeah, Dexter's Laboratory. Oh. That's probably why you thought it was Labo. Something like that? Laboratory. No, I just thought Labo. Just because you're fucking Dexter dumb. doesn't have a lob. <laughs> he has <laughs> a I'm lab. An, it's because I'm an idiot. Clearly. That is why. But I still have zero interest in trying that. Zero. Maybe if I have a kid. I have cats. I don't want fucking cardboard in this house. That is a There's good already enough point. cardboard for them to play with when good I buy beer. Good point. South Park, the fractured butthole. That came to 2018. That came to Nintendo Switch. Oh. So, I, so like I said, a bunch of cool one. Nintendo Switch games that came from other consoles to the Nintendo Switch, which is cool. I mean, we like this. Well, you like this. Ooh, Shaq Fu. Came out in 2018. Hell yeah, Shaq Fu. That's what I was going to say. After a while. Hell yeah. It finally came to fruition. I mean, Shaq Fu, you can't not love Shaquille O'Neal. You can't. It is a sequel to the 1994 Shaq Fu that came out for the Sega Mega Drive and the Super Nintendo. You liked Super Mega Mega Baseball 2. I liked it a lot. I did. It's It's a fun one. That one came for free through Games with Gold. Something like that. I remember just watching someone get hit. You hit a baseball. Yeah. You just knock uh, the pitcher out cold. What was his name? And it's hilarious. Oh, it's one of the... I think it was Dan Reichert from uh, Giant Bomb. Come on the pod. Where he, like, went up to bat and just 
fucking line drive it, right it, to the pitcher and just knocks him out cold. And I think they kept going. Yeah, well, they like they have to, but like it's nobody, a play. but nobody went to collect the ball. It was just they're dead. Yeah, and it's hilarious. But they obviously get back up, and it's a cartoon. So, but he gets back up, and it was just hilarious watching that. I I try. I think I actually did it when I played it, and I was like, "This is amazing." He didn't like pass out and die like before, but it it, hit it happened me. to me. Yeah, I cracked one of them, and it took them a couple seconds to get up, and I think yeah. I got a triple. This game was interesting, and it came out in May of 2018. Detroit become human. Yeah, Detroit. Yeah, with the uh, Grey's Anatomy dude. Yeah, that handsome motherfucker. The handsome brown guy, light skinned. There you go. He's bald. <laughs> I think. Eh. Buzz cut. Shaved head. Yeah. yeah. But that was an interesting it's cute. That was an interesting concept, meaning you're like Android robots, but they want to be free. So I didn't play it as it's yeah. I, but it, I, think I didn't play were, it either. It's like reminiscent of like heavy rain and like Alan Wake kind of storytelling. It's yeah, it's very trippy, very futuristic, but you're like Android robot helpers or people, I think. And you want to be free from whatever the society is happening. And there are protesters, I think. But I'm of the assumption. I don't know enough to correct you on it. I'm of the assumption that not that much interesting stuff can happen in Detroit. That's just me. Detroit. Say it like a French person. Detroit. It's, it's a lot cooler. Uh, Octopath Traveler. Also you came played in that. Did that you was like a lot that? of fun. I did. I enjoyed that a lot. It was a nice little callback to the uh, 2D days of JRPGs. Yeah. But that one kind of got weird after about forty hours into it, because which that's that's not that bad if it comes. It's weird. Forty well, hours. The in. reason why it got weird was because that one. So there's eight different characters. So you pick to start with one, and then you have to physically travel to the locations of the other seven. Yeah. Do their chapter one of their story to recruit them, and then like each one has four chapters. So. I'm yeah. horrible at math. Eight times four is twenty four. 32. 32. Again, horrible at math. So there's 32 total chapters and none of them really intertwine all that much. They're like their own story. Yeah. And you're like, they're all traveling together. Every now and then they'd have like little quips and stuff like that. But Mm -hmm. like I said, I got 40 hours in like through everybody's chapter three and I'm like, do you guys know that like you fucking all exist or are you guys (laughs) just kind of doing your own thing? Yeah. I mean... I, but it was a sweet game. I mean, it's a sweet I enjoyed game. it. Like, you, I have to go back and like restart it and just play through it fully. To if the only it. problem is it gets it gets weird about forty hours in. It got it's weird earlier than that. It's just to, it got weird like the first like ten hours when you realize that hmm, these stories don't really actually intertwine. I just kind of gave up at forty hours when I was yeah. like, okay, Primrose is doing her own thing and fucking Oberic is just not paying attention. Yeah. She's sucking dick for money, man. Like, come on, somebody (laughs) stop her. Mario Tennis Aces was a game that came out in June of 2018. Very good game. Yes, I'm good at that game. You're what? I'm good at that game. Oh. I I, said what I said. Okay. All right. I I think I beat you. Never. More often than not. But You probably thought about it. That must mean I'm great at it. You beat me off after I beat you. Fair enough. I did do that, but I think I also beat you. (laughs) This is an interesting game. Hello Neighbor. Have you played that? Terrifies the hell out of me. I don't want to. Really? <laughs> I don't want to. Isn't that the one where it's like you have the creepy You go neighbor? into your neighbor's house and you have to avoid him, but he's got a weird house. Why the fuck are you going into his house? Because he's got a weird house. And so? He's a, and he's a weird guy. That's it's, not gross. I want us to fucking that's invade breaking and entering. That is teaching kids by to the break law. and enter. Don't do that. They, Even if you have a weird neighbor, don't go into his house. They remastered Shenmue 1 and 2. Which you have played a shitload of I recently. love those games so much. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We happy few. You haven't played it. I have not. came out in August. It's really trippy. If you're into like psychedelic culture, which not many people are. If you're an old hippie. Talk. I know. (laughs) I know. It's One Facebook scroll of mine will show you some people that still think they're in the fucking 60s and they're younger than us. Which it's an awesome concept, meaning you're in this and you will 100% be speaking with a British accent. You'll want to do it after you play the game. It's great. Like you have to avoid cops and other people. It's a stealth game, but not oh, yeah, really. Don't you have to like constantly pump yourself with like drugs. You keep to... having to take pills to put off the or to put on the assumption that you're, you know, going. You're in line with everybody. You're doing what you're supposed to do. You're taking your mandatory pills because everybody's happy. 
Right. And then you, when you don't take the pills, you see the reality of a shitty world that they live in. And it's just really fun, a really cool stealth game, but not, it doesn't have to be a stealth game. It's a lovely day for it. And they say that a lot. What? That's the game. Nothing. Don't blame me. Blame the game. The game's good. This was interesting too. Donut County. Oh, yeah. The where little... you are a hole and you become a bigger hole. Sounds like my ex-wife, Karen. There you go. Hashtag comeback, Karen. Yeah, come back. Hole. <laughs> She's not. Thank you. By the way, it is Amar's birthday on the podcast. It is officially. As we are recording night. right now, Amar is 57 years old. Oh, that's old. He's 26. Oh, now my cat's wishing me a happy birthday. Yeah. Oh, If you are out there. Wish Amar a happy birthday. Thanks. Love you, buddy. Happy birthday. Thanks. Please don't take a photo of me. Okay. This is a bad place to take a yeah, photo. Yeah, do not take do a that. photo of me. She already took a photo of me. Yeah. Ooh. Talk about Spider-Man. Oh, the game that you didn't fucking finish? That's why I'm not talking about Spider-Man. Spider-Man That's is why great. you are talking about Spider-Man. Spider-Man is absolutely great. Web slinging in New York City. Yeah. It's 4K. Yeah, I think, because I didn't have a pro, so it was all <laughs> HDR. I don't have 4K TV, but it, it looked 4K. Fucking Stan Lee was in it, rest in peace. Yeah. Rip. Great game. I still need to finish it. Yes, I'm not going it. to. I'm never going to. It's not going to happen. Nope. I'll finish it for you. Did you play Shadow of the Tomb Raider? No, I think I only started with there. Rise you're of the Tomb Raider, there. yeah. But Tomb Raider games are fun, in your opinion? Or No, not Rise of the Tomb Raider. I think it was just called Tomb Raider. There was Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Shadow. And Shadow was the, the more recent one, yeah. Yes, which you have. Ooh, you've played this Wander Song. You recently you played it just to get some achievement. <laughs> yeah, uh, I can't tell you what. Amar is a confident and uh, outgoing achievement whore. Hey man, why so you gotta you go. why you gotta attack me on my birthday? Because on, that's don't. what you do. You rib your friends. Not on their birthdays. Fine. Amar loves achievements though. Well, I wish I could get him achievements for his birthday, but I can't. That'd be wild, huh? That would be awesome. I'd give you. I used fun. to. I used to actually back um when I was playing Xbox like heavily, when uh, the 360 days. I used to always make it a point to get an achievement on my birthday. Yeah, well, and then I did get going. I didn't play for like six years, but yeah, there's a couple games where you can see like every year on December 30th, I earned a, a, like some kind of achievement. Yeah. So we're going to go pretty quick through the rest of these because we got to get to 2019 and 2020. Yes, and then i got to start my birthday celebrations. There you go. Forza 4. Forza fun. Horizon 4. Forza Horizon 4. Yes. I'm so sorry. Because they're already on like the seventh Eighth regular Forza. Forza. Yeah, Whatever. 8 is coming out. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Ass, ass, in. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Because it's, it's ass, literally ass, ass, in. ass, ass, in. It's assassin. That's how you can't spell that's assassin how you know how to spell two assassin. asses. <laughs> Is that how you like tell your brain? No, I say assassin, but you can't. You can't spell assassin without two ass, asses. Ass in without two asses. I'm gonna use that now. Yeah. And someone's like, "How do you spell assassin?" Ass ass in. There you go. And you're not gonna spell it wrong any, every time. The, the confidence that you exuded, ass, like ass immediately, in. you're like Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Ass ass in. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Assassin's Creed Odyssey came out. Didn't play it. Looked fun. Ass, ass in. <laughs> can we get one of those like uh, machines where we have like sound it's bites? Play, yeah. So every time now I play can just be like, yeah, so we play the new ass, ass in. <laughs> Super Mario Party looked cool. Haven't played a Mario Party game in a long time, but it looks pretty cool. <laughs> Par <-R -T. laughs> <laughs> Dark Souls Remastered, everybody loves. Remastered. You played this. Nickelodeon Kart Racers. Uh, yeah, I got that as a uh, Christmas gift. It's uh, was it good? <laughs> <laughs> was it game it is of the year? It is exactly what you think it would be. Ass, ass, <laughs> ass, ass in. No, that was definitely Nickelodeon Kart Racers. It's a, it's exactly what you expected. Yeah. Be. How good do you think that yeah. game was? If it's your favorite game, congratulations. You are five years old. Why are you listening to this podcast? No, you're listening. They're playing Fortnite. What are you talking True. about? <laughs> That's their favorite game. Or they're Fortnite trying to find should a never copy be your of favorite ass, game. ass in. Fortnite should never be your favorite game. Ever. Ass, ass in should. 
Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah, that was a huge release. Huge game. You it's know? a banger, dude. It looks great. I still have to finish the first one. And you yell at me for not finishing Spider-Man. Uh, New Red York's Dead, not going to save itself, Red Dead Andy. Redemption is literally one of the bigger games that has come out in recent years. And then there's already a second one, which you haven't played. I'm sorry. Is this guy saving New York City or is he He's just... saving the West. <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck about the West. True. That happened. True. But it's, right. it's Doc still... Ock is running amok. It's still great. Go play it. Like Red Dead Redemption 2 is even better. It looks so pretty. And you get to see horse penis. It's great. Oh, here is... Uh, or horse balls? Horse penis? I can't tell. Ported to the remember. Switch Bass Pro Shops, The Strike. I know a couple people that would love a that 2009 game. fishing video game. Hell yeah, dude. They still make those. I remember. Just go fishing. <laughs> Just go fishing. But I can't Who? fish at home. <laughs> Why would you want to? I don't know. I have no idea. Buy a house like up buy a house on a lake. lake. Buy a houseboat. Done. <laughs> you can always fish, but I can't fish at home. I hate you so much. <laughs> Tetris. Can't fish at home. <laughs> Tetris effect look cool. When can't. did Tetris 99 come out? Because I know that was your favorite. That is 2019. Royale. I will get to that. Was it 2019? Yes, it was. Hitman 2. Great game. Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Great yeah. games. Three of them. Phenomenal. Go play I them. I want to play those again. Fucking bangers. Yep. Fallout 76. Cool concept. Eh. Not great execution. Mm -hmm. Got a little bit better. Mm. Add NPCs like a normal game has. It's weird playing a game all by myself mm. and reading computers. I don't want to do that. I don't want to It's shoot. called Fallout 76 because there's 76 other games that I'd rather play. hey -o. Ass, 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 ass in. It's okay. Give it a shot and let us know what you think. Battlefield 5. Battlefield V. V. Battlefield V. World War II. Speaking of Which Roman numerals, a Roman walked into the bar and held up two fingers and said, I'd like to take five beers. There you go. And I'm the corny joke guy, apparently. That wasn't corny. That was, that was historically dude, accurate. That was Children of the Corny. Wow. Okay. Wow. That was the band Corn. <laughs> okay ass ass in <laughs> pokemon let's go pikachu let's go eevee great games yeah those were they were a fun time it was a nice little callback it was a little nostalgia trip but yeah i couldn't stand the I, motion controls i know i i beat it as fast as i could pretty much which is me on every night <laughs> just cause four they make that's i saw somebody say michael bay the game and i'm like absolutely <laughs> michael makes, bay the game that makes so much sense have you ever seen the uh michael bay eats a bowl of cereal yeah i have <laughs> that's funny go watch it <sighs> it's hilarious and it makes so much sense super smash bros ultimate is the last one i'm going to talk about december 2018 great game love what it. i want to talk about is why the last remnant came out just for the 360 and windows and then they remastered it and it only came to the ps4 I don't and then know. the Switch. No idea. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. All right, 2019. Let's get to it. What do we got? Not much. As for news, Bungie is not with Activision in 2019. They maintain, up of the year. they maintain the rights to the Destiny series, which is insane. I mean, the fact, oh, yeah, that, the fact that, that they Bungie parted ways with anymore. that. That's 343 Studios. The fact that they parted ways with Destiny, that's nuts. They could have been like, no, fuck you. We're keeping it. But they were like, here you go. Go make it. This is technically a game that came out, but it's also pretty big. Respawn was just like, hey, we have a battle royale. Here you go. Boom. Apex Legends. Yep. What was that? Like February 2019 or February something? February 4th. They were just like, yep, here you here go. Here you go. Yep. We make Titanfall, Titanfall 2. We can make shooters. We make good shooters. Here you go. Here's Apex. And we we're like, oh, I damn, still have to actually great. give that one a fair we shot. We are going to give it a shot. And we should and actually like then judge it. In March, Google revealed Stadia, yeah, which we have an entire episode about. Go listen to our thoughts. It might twenty twenty is going to be the year that they should release the like free version, yes. where and you have to purchase your own game. So I'm actually very excited to give that a shot. It might be the next new thing in gaming. It might be the Netflix of gaming. It might be on the pile of garbage oh, that Google has pass. come out with. Yes, I know, but I'm just saying it's nice. I've heard all of the nice things about how it's great. You don't have to download a game. Once you buy it, you can just automatically play it. Right. And you can play which it on is almost anything. Everything, which I am that runs Chrome. Super excited to try that out. So that's 2020. Hopefully they'll announce a release date for it soon if they haven't already. 
in May, Epic Games acquired Rocket League developer Psyonix. Yes. So Rocket League is now big. It's an Epic Games. It's an Epic game. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Microsoft in June announced Project Scarlet. Johansson. Which I was waiting for the memes of that, but they was nope. never game. <laughs> nope. I should have made them. Which they eventually announced is the Xbox, Xbox Series X. X. The Xbox Sex. No. Yes. <laughs> the, in July, Fortnite World Cup started. We needed that, apparently. We needed a Fortnite World Cup because we didn't have anything else. Yeah, and that 16-year-old one. Booga. Booga. Booga, booga, booga. Booga, booga. booga. He won that. And he's a millionaire. So there you go. He has more money than us. Speaking of the Xbox series, there was actually a funny article that I read about it. Okay. I'm trying to find. This is going to be a bit of a long episode. Not really. Oh, here it is. What do you got? About what? So the Xbox Series X is actually called Xbox, according to Microsoft. Yeah. And at the they... end of this blog post, he writes, so we have a new Xbox that's not an original Xbox, but a next generation Xbox, the most powerful Xbox. We could have another Xbox to go along with the new Xbox, much like the Xbox One family where we had many Xboxes, including an Xbox One and another Xbox called the Xbox One X, which was the sibling to another Xbox called the Xbox One S, which had another brother called the Xbox One S Digital. Xbox. Xbox. Xbox, Xbox, <laughs> Xbox. That's too many Xboxes. I think it was backpedaling. They're like, we're going to call it Xbox Series X. This is what it looks like. And it's everybody's supposed like, to open Ew. up room for oh. like future naming conventions. I get that. I think they're just like, fuck it. We just make Xboxes. I know. And but at a certain point, it felt like people were like, oh, Xbox Series X. That sounds terrible. And they're like, oh, no, wait. We're just calling it Xbox. The thing we just told you, that's not its name. Yeah. <laughs> Even it's though just, that's what we showed you. It's the Xbox, it's so but it's weird. the Series X Xbox. It's so weird. I mean, at I this don't point, care. though, like, I think that Give Sony... it a $400 price tag, put a couple games at launch, and I'll buy it. Whatever. <laughs> Game Pass, bro. I know, but I'm just saying. No, but like PlayStation too. It's like they're naming it the PlayStation 5. I'm like, at this point, just fucking it call it sense. PlayStation. It makes sense though. They're at least like two, three, four, five. They're like Xbox One X, Xbox 360, right. Xbox. They're running just out of ways. It, just call it PlayStation. Just call it Xbox. Whatever. My mom's going to call it a fucking Nintendo anyways. <laughs> yeah. So it doesn't matter what the fuck you call it. <laughs> it's a very good point. She's going to be like, what's that fucking uh, controller with the wires? I'm like, bitch, people going for wireless. It's like 2005. What are you talking about with the wires? Where's the landline? The landline? <laughs> you mean Ethernet? <laughs> Oh, bro, we had, um, I went to GameStop. I went to GameStop during my uh, break at work and somebody was like going to GameStop and they were like, they asked to buy something and the dude at the counter was like, no, oh, I don't fucking know what that is. <laughs> so then they left the kid came back and this kid on a skateboard and he's like, oh my bad. It's uh, it's called an ethernet cable. Like, how the fuck do you not do you know, know what know an what ethernet cable? Like you're what planet have you 16. Been on? Yeah. But apparently GameStop doesn't sell those. Why would they? Because it's a gaming store. They don't need a yeah, not an internet store. Neither is Best Buy, but they sell Ethernet cables. Yeah, but they sell computers. GameStop doesn't sell computers. Mm. Who need Ethernet cables? Yes, they do. They sell Thanks. computers. Yeah, you can buy computers from GameStop's oh, website. I haven't been to GameStop in two years, so that makes sense. Has it really been two years? I've no. We went a couple months ago. Yeah, I have never been to Game. I haven't been to GameStop. You in haven't two years. purchased I went anything with at you. GameStop. Yeah. yeah. September Apple Arcade was launched. Yeah. That, that sounds sweet. cool, but I don't play on my phone enough. No, me. and I don't have one of the newer Apple TVs. My yes, mom has which it. I'm so. not trying to play games on my TV either. That sounds like it sucks. Well, games <laughs> on the remote. I know you use TV to play video games. <laughs> I was like, I, ass, I'm, ass I, in. I mean, I don't no, want to I don't connect play your, mobile games on my TV. Well, you can connect like a Xbox or a PlayStation controller, and I think they probably make their own. So you can just kind of mimic like an actual. I guess. So that's 2019 news. Obviously, there's some other news that came out. Go listen to our other episodes about that. We'll we've, be in there. We've covered a lot of stuff. Yes, so go yeah. check it out. This is obviously a review, so we need to go a little bit quicker. So we're going to talk about... Well, first of all, we can talk about some hardware. Nintendo Switch Lite. Yeah, was we nice. We talked about that. Still haven't got one. Have an episode about it. It's tiny. First one. It's Switch. It's light. Less calories. Go check it out. All your corny ass one corny ass that's all i had 
So <laughs> ass ass in. This is my favorite. We, what a way to cap off there the year. Go, yeah. What a good birthday. It's only been 14 minutes. January. Yes. New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe in the Switch. In 2019? 19, 2019. I thought we were talking about 2020 now. No, we're in 2019, the games. Oh. Yeah. I thought you... Well, we're going to go quick on the news, so we're done with the news. Some cool games came the out news. in 2019. Did they? Yes. Like? I'm looking Apex Legends. <laughs> I'm going what a cool the, game. I'm going down the list. Tetris 99 came out in February oh, 2019. Yeah. Your favorite. Love it. My favorite Battle Royale. So good. It's just Tetris against 98 other people. It's fantastic. It's Battle Tetris, and I love it. Damn, G Fuel just emailed me. There you go. Because it was. G Fuel, come on the pod. Sponsor I, the pod. I started yeah. purchasing, but then I realized I saved $10 on Amazon, and now they sent me a very threatening, like, what happened to hanging out with us? Yeah. I'm like, Jesus. There you go. Crackdown 3. Great game. Oh, yeah. It's Crackdown. It's Crackdown. It's, it's not, obviously, nothing's going to capture the same lightning in a bottle. That it's no Crackdown one, did, 1. But it's, yeah. it's a great. Uh, game jump force which is the anime fighting game i'd only want to yeah. get that because i want to fight as seto kaiba only reason sure do they have joey in the game they have yugi and kaiba they gotta have joey maybe okay well i like joey hey, Yugi, what's going on here? i like joey because they have the red eyes black dragon it's the only reason kaiba's, all an, about kaiba's an asshole yeah, but Fuck Kaiba. 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 I just want to play as him so I can get his ass kicked. I want to rewatch Yu Gi Oh! now. It's so great. I want to check out where my Yu Gi Oh! cards are. Metro Exodus. Yep. That's a weird series of games that I have not played that I feel like I would dig. They're based on books. Really? Yeah. A, I want to say a Ukrainian or a Russian author wrote books. I thought it had something to do with the subway. Yeah, it does. Okay. Like the books. That's Metro, that's all I was thinking. I think the books are supposed to be based on like a post apocalyptic, like Russia or Ukraine. Okay. And yeah, it's a lot of like people are living like in the Metro or something like that. Cool. I'll have to check it out. They, they it's look on my Amazon list for like yeah. a wish list for books because once I heard, I was like, oh, I want to check this out. It looks interesting. I'm willing to give it a shot. It's shooters. It looks interesting. Post apocalyptic kind of shit. I'm into it. Anthem sucked. Nobody liked it. <sighs> That's right. It's Bioware. Like 12 bucks now. Bioware. Come on. Rebound. What is it? Mass Effect Andromeda tanked. Anthem tanked. was supposed to be like the yeah, but we're coming out with Anthem. We're the Destiny killer. Ugh. Nope. Wah, wah. Destiny said, "Hey, we're going free to play." Yeah. That's how much money we made. Try again. Just make a just remaster the Mass they're Effect make trilogy or make a Dragon Age. No, I think they're Done. I think they're gonna make like an anthem too. Done. Probably. They who wanted an anthem one? Nobody a lot wanted, of people were actually wanted. super hyped for the first but, anthem. But who got anthem one is like they should make a second one. Nobody. There's that one guy that's like, I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> I guess. Devil May Anthem one. <laughs> Devil May Cry five. There's yeah. five of them. Jesus. Oh, there's a lot more there's than five. Probably a lot more. Um, and there's one that's just DMC. I think run DMC. I think Devil May Cry 5 is technically the Seven. sixth one because there was Devil May Cry 1, 2, and 3, 4 on the 360. Then they had Devil May Cry, which was like a reboot or is something. Is there Devil May Cry Series X coming? No, <laughs> but there is Devil May Cry Series DMC, Devil May Cry DMC Series. Okay. So you can you play go. Devil May Cry while, you play while you're Devil watching May someone play Devil May Cry on your Xbox that supports Devil May Cry. Okay. While you listen to Run DMC. There you go. <laughs> I love Devil May Cry. I love Run DMC. I should probably download that game too. Tom Clancy's The Division 2. That was a very good game. I did Still not play the first it. one. but Me too. Yeah, it was pretty good. It's fun. Um, Definitely would be more fun, you know, if we co-opted. With and, other people. Yeah. Um, but still, there's a. I don't know about the first game because I've never played it, but the second one, you could definitely solo it too and yeah. still have a pretty good time. I'll give it a shot. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. This year's game of the year. This year's game of the year. It's Dark Souls, but in Japan? China? No idea? Asia? See, Asia. We'll Asia. Sure, fair. It's, it's Dark Souls in Asia where you're a samurai. Russia's dude. technically in Asia. Could be in Russia. Sekiro, what are you doing? You don't know. It's Dark Souls, but you're a samurai. Looks yeah. pretty interesting. I'm not into Dark Souls games. I don't want to risk Isn't that my... what Ghost of Tsushima is supposed to be? Is like a I Dark Souls so. samurai game. They're all game. Dark Souls-y. 
People just all of love them being are. fucking angry. They do. I don't want to pull my hair out while I'm playing a game. I, I like, barely have any hair to pull out. I'm saying. I have plenty of hair, but Amar does. I'll pull it out and give it to me. <laughs> I'll give you some. I'll hook a brother My up. time at Porsche, <laughs> which you played. Yeah, it was not a bad game. Yeah. It was all right. Mortal Kombat 11. They're making Mortal Kombat the same way every single time. They're just like, here's a new fatality. Here's like... Two dudes in a ring. Jason from Freddy... Or not... Well... Jason from Friday the 13th. Here you go. Oh, Freddy Krueger's in there too. So it's going to be Freddy versus Jason. Blah, blah, blah. Like they're making this, they're cool games, but at, at a certain point I'm like, I don't want to play Mortal Kombat the same way because you get boring after a while when it's like, I don't want to keep fighting the same way 17 times. Right. That's what old arcade fighters are about when it was the only game that they had. Now I there's got a other buddy at my work that'll school the shit out of you on Absolutely. fighting games. Absolutely. I'm terrible. No, not even just like skill wise. This dude knows his shit. He'll probably punch me better too. He knows the maneuvers. He's got he the pinkies. Yeah, there you go. Rage two. Hashtag pinky gang. Rage two. Yeah. Rage one was weird. Not as bad as people think. I played it. Did you it. play Rage one? Yes, I did. But I am tainted because Fallout's so much better. At is that what it's supposed to be? It's is like post-apocalyptic, like yep. open world. Rage is just like Rage One, but we made stuff crazy and like all this other stuff. It's like Rage on drugs. That's what Rage Two is. Okay. Yeah. Rage Two, Rage Two, Fast. I've never rage. played Rage, but it was just interesting to watch you like describe to me what Rage Two is while comparing it to Rage One, as if I knew exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. It's post, oh, yeah, Rage. <laughs> post-apocalyptic. Everything's a desert in ah. Rage One. You get like a limited so amount like of Mad weapons. Max. Yeah. Uh, Which is like Fallout. Didn't play that one either. God, fuck you. Saw the movie though. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. We have fun here, don't we? Outer Wilds came out in May. Still haven't played it. It looks like. Outer Worlds was phenomenal. Yes. I think that was my game, game of the year for 2019. Outer Wilds is camping in space. We don't care. I think, no, hold I on. Can we go the, hunting and fishing in space? I don't know. We'll see. Well, do they, we can do they have a Bass Pro shop game. in space? Maybe. They probably got something like that. My Friend Pedro, which is yeah. a fun game. Did you you finish that, yes, right? Yes, I did. it's a very short game. It's very short. You can just go through and kill a bunch of people. It's yeah, great. I still have to finish that. I, I think I got through like Spinning the Spinning and shooting in slow motion. It's fantastic. And a talking banana. There you go. What can you be? Named Pedro? The banana is the named, Pedro. named Pedro. Yeah. yeah. Which is a great name. And you for like banana. have amnesia or some shit like great that. Great name for banana. Super Mario Maker 2. We're going to just bust through these. Uh, Final Fantasy 14 Shadowbringers. Yes. Great one. I didn't get a chance to play it. Dr. Mario World. Oh, that's an iOS and Droid. No one cares about that. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order. Great game. Fantastic Switch game. Go yeah. buy it. It's great. You'll tons of hours of play and you'll enjoy every single marvel character in it basically they're adding dlc all the time for new shot uh new people it's awesome wolfenstein cyber pilot and wolfenstein youngblood didn't try it want to heard it's not great one is a you're literally a pilot the other one you're two girls you are two girls that are pilots and there's only one cup oh god <laughs> that is an old reference uh, speaking of oh. that's before 2010 i think yeah, that was like a 05, 06. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen it. Amar has. Apparently Control. You haven't seen it? No, I don't want to. I mean, I, I knew what it was before I wanted to see it. Control is apparently a good game. You're like a superhero woman. And you yeah, I've heard very fucking good things ass. about it, yeah. It looks great. WoW Classic yeah. came out. Wow that Classic was a big one. You, you played it. Yeah, I played a little bit of it, and then I realized, man, this is boring by yourself when you're playing what WoW was back in 2003. It so wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't good. It wasn't that great. They made Kingdom Hearts three finally launched yeah. in twenty nineteen. Also, I they made realize. WoW expansions for a reason. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, Astral Chain. I still want to try. That looks dope. You're yep. like in sync with the other person. Sorry, we have to go through these pretty quick. We already are at an hour and ten minutes. I might yeah, cut gotta, some stuff. We'll see. We'll wrap it up. Gears five, fantastic. Borderlands three, fantastic. Lego Jurassic World. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> ass ass in. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Mario Kart Tour is a, an iPhone game that is making more money than Jesus just because everybody wants to play it. And you need to pay How money. How much money do you think Jesus makes? He's a carpenter, so they make, what, like 60 <sighs> grand a year? Something like that? I mean, depending on the market that you're in. Yeah. True. I mean, there's a lot of houses. Call of Duty Mobile. Interesting. Played it a little bit. Do Man. they have controller support finally? I think they added it back. <sighs> then So now we can 
destroyed. Now we can just get back in it. Disco Elysium. I want to play it. I also want to play it. I want to play it a lot. It looks really interesting, and I'm going to definitely give it a shot once it comes out on other stuff. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Fantastic. Love it. Untitled Goose Game. Super good. Outer Worlds. Game of the Year. Game of the Year. Medieval. I want to play that just because that's my childhood, man. Luigi's Mansion 3. Fucking fantastic. Good game. Love it. Red Dead Redemption 2 for Windows. We talked about it already. I'm reading a list. Don't judge me. You try and run a you're already You're already in October at this point. Death Stranding. Pokemon Sword and Shield. Great. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Dark Shen- Soulsy. Shenmue 3. Ha. <laughs> I haven't started ha. it yet. Ha. I've, ha. I've been ha. waiting almost 20 years and I... And we're done with 2019. Yeah. I mean, that's... So they gave me a box for Shenmue 3. Oh, God. And then they gave me an empty steelbook box. Oh. Yeah, empty. Just well, a box. Why? Because what am I going to do with two boxes? It's a steel box just for your other boxes. So we're going to go into 2020, meaning we're just going to get some quick thoughts. What do you want in 2020? What are you excited for in 2020? Uh, more time in March. Final Fantasy VII, Persona 5, Royal, Animal Crossing. If you could make March... About 60 days. There you go. And I think that'd be enough. So maybe one of those comes out. In and like half April. of them you get off. I mean, if I save up enough PTO. I'd yeah, probably... or you quit your job. <laughs> Perfect time to quit your job. Boss, if you're listening, I'm putting in my three month notice. <laughs> three months. 2020, I just want the systems to be cool. Yeah, I'm excited for the Series X a lot. And there's a couple games that I'm excited for. And there's obviously going to be more that are like, hey, this is coming out in six months. E3 is coming. E3 will be a good time as always. Which I think they're going to get. We're going to go to E3 one of these times. One of these days, if they're still around. Like, I hope there's demos about the consoles so people are like, yeah, this sucks. Yeah, Xbox Series X will probably have something up. PlayStation will, at that point, announce Something. what the fucking Something. thing looks like <laughs> yeah. so i can the stop prototypes people. are ugly I, as hell i'm sick They're of people gross. on my facebook sharing them and being like oh this is what the new playstation I'm like you first of all you don't know anything they look like the head of vacuum cleaners and it looks I'm like that's not terrible. what it's gonna look like when it i comes know out. i know but like that's the best you could do in like your whatever you're trying to draw that's it but it makes it. They're all boxes. Do you remember the original? They are all boxes. Just but do you remember the original box. Xbox, like the OG Xbox, the prototype was just going to be one giant fucking X. I do remember. That would be awesome, though. That would be. It serves no purpose. But being back an in two thousand, two thousand one, you were like, was, the Rock comes out and is like, you, yeah, I got this uh box here. Yeah, it's the Xbox. It's just a box. Yeah, they're all boxes. The Rock and Bill Gates were on stage at one point talking. That's about a power the couple right there, man. It was an absolute power move. Bill Gates it's made a pro a coding, gamer move. Bill Gates made a rock coding rock. joke in front of the rock and he raised his eyebrow. I don't think he got the joke. That's why he raised the eyebrow. He's no. like, huh? Nobody explained it to him. Yeah. He doesn't know. You know what I mean? The rock doesn't Something know about, about writing coding. clean code. And the rock was like, <laughs> you lost me, jabroni. Yeah. So we're excited for the games and the consoles that come out in the next year. We're also excited for the episodes that we're going to come out with in 2020. We hope that this podcast in the next year gets better and more organized. Hopefully. I doubt it'll happen. That's our New Year's resolutions. One is to play more video games and have more time to play video games. The other is to make this podcast as big as possible and as organized as possible. One of those is more likely to happen than the other. And I'm going to tell you, it's the first one. You're going to have to find out next year. Yes. Thank you guys for tuning in for this year. Yeah. We appreciate it. This is a very long one, we know. But Thanks for you, hanging out on my birthday. If you made it this far. Happy birthday, buddy. I love Thanks, you. Thanks, man. If you made it this far. 26 and dying. If you made it this far, we appreciate you. Yeah. Share this with everybody that you know. Hope your Christmas is good. Go into 2020 excited for video games and happy that of all the video games that came out in the last decade before that. Have a good new year. I hope you enjoy your time on my birthday. Yes. I think everybody should have a good day on yes, the 30th. absolutely. December 30th, have a great day. Have happy, a fucking good ass day. Also, happy birthday, LeBron James and Tiger Woods. Hey man, <laughs> December thirtieth. Legends hates, are he no, hates sharing his birthday with. I actually guys. don't because LeBron James, you hate. No, really, you're over it because dude, legends are born on December thirtieth. That's weird. LeBron my, James. That's weird. My Tiger birthday's Woods. in August. Me, nah, son, <laughs> nah, son. <laughs> okay, well, we will see you guys next year. Bye. Have a good one. Ass, ass in. Ass, ass in.